Hey guys, this is a post from a Magic the Gathering champion. Big, big Magic the Gathering player. He is a pro player. I think I would have to agree with him. We're going to read the post and then talk about it. So, oh, he's the former U.S. national champion, Ali. MTG players, the people who argue over the most complicated game mechanics while simultaneously forgetting how human interaction works. Spend $500 on cardboard, but not $5 on soap. Keep telling you yourself is strategic while you still can't strategically exit your mom's basement. This is pretty brutal, but uh, true. So he is speaking the truth, right? He roasted uh, the MTG community, and people are loving the content. They agree with him, actually. They agree with him. So, in terms of how realistic this is, you know, obviously, we have taken a break from my magic content. Man, I I miss making the Rudy Chan videos. Uh, If Rudy had not made his MetaZoo video, we probably wouldn't even have a channel today. But anyway, we back and basically we're making videos on the seedier side of Magic the Gathering, which most people won't even touch because they need our sponsorships, they need to promote OnlyFans, right? We ain't going to, we don't need to do that. That's not something that we ever have to do. Yeah, there are plenty of people I've met that can talk about EDH every single day, but if you put them in front of a female, but there are, well, I'm not going to edit that out. That was a burp. <laughs> That's how little I care. Uh, so anyway, if you know, uh, I have another channel. It's a lawyer channel that focuses on Rolex. We do a call from prison every Monday and Thursday. Very interesting stuff. At any given time, we have 100 people live at every single one. At one point, we had 200 people live, so we peaked at 200. And then I have a baby channel, which is a short, but the baby channel for my daughter is already at 18,000, almost 19,000 subscribers. Now, we it used to be a dog channel, and we I converted it to a baby channel, and eventually it'll be a baby and dog channel. Because uh, right now the baby doesn't have vaccine, so she cannot play with the dog. It's a Shibu Unu. Anyway, back to what I need to say here. Yeah, I know you guys know. You guys know plenty of people. You know plenty of people who would lo- who essentially are like this. They are willing to spend god godly amounts of money godly amounts of money on magic cards and not five dollars on soap oh the baby channel is at 18.8 thousand now it's not bad given that basically takes me less than a minute to upload a video or six youtube shorts but any i mean you guys know what we're talking about and he's right Uh, a lot of people live in their mom's basements you know like i have met them and at some point in time, you're going to realize Magic, even though it's a fun game, it's not really important. Once I had my daughter, Magic is just trash. Like, you know, I, I don't intend to ever play the game again. I don't think I will ever have the time. Because would you rather spend time with your daughter or in your significant other? Or you would rather spend time with a bunch of people in the basement in playing Magic with no soap? Here's the problem with Magic the Gathering. Okay, I'm going to speak truth, right? The problem is exactly this. You can spend $500 on the underground sea and then not have the $5 to spend on soap. That's a problem for most people in magic that I've seen. They can spend a lot of money on magic and not have deodorant, not have belts. Remember the whole butt crack incident, right? That's still happening today. They didn't learn. The guys didn't learn anything. Right? Like, how much does a belt cost? Less than a Fetch Land. You can buy it at less than a Shock Land. It's $10. You can buy a belt in Walmart. And then just represent yourself. 
you know, and the farting, man. If you think that's bad, think about like people without belts. Are they more likely to fart or less? And then, you know, we made these things about, I mean, we covered it. So it wasn't my data, guys. It was data from someone else, of third-party data, which indicated magic was one of the least likable hobbies. If you told a woman that you play magic, they're going to leave you on. And we know this because there's a guy called John Finkel, and he is the potentially, possibly, the greatest magic player on earth. And when the woman learned he was a magic champion, she ran for the hills. First of all, she didn't run for the hills immediately, but she baited him into doing another date just so she could write a nasty article on him. Right? That that was the whole purpose of the second date was so she could get you know and make him out to be a villain of types, even though she was really really bad person. So that's where uh, Magic the Gathering is. They can spend $500 on cardboard, but not 5 bucks on soap. They can spend $1,000 on cardboard, but not $10 on a belt. That's not real life, guys. It's just Monday effing cardboard. Get over it. And, you know, I have enough cardboard to open. I, if I open a box every hour, I would still have boxes left over, even if I passed away and lived to 100 Time is your most valuable resource. It is a resource that you can never agree planet. And I understand you guys are relaxing and you guys want to, you know, go to your local. Yeah, I get it because I have done it. But I'm here to tell you, like, you got to respect yourself, right? Um, so I've lost 10 pounds, right, by going on diets and going on runs and so on because I wanted to be healthier and, you know, be healthier so I can take care of my family. Um, this is stuff that you don't think of when you play Magic. Most Magic players are not thinking about running or being healthier or eating healthier. Like, if you look at the junk food that they have, your, the very first video that I got heavily criticized on my new law student channel was me criticizing the junk. So I went to a bunch of Magic stores. I filmed what type of food they were having, right? It was all just Snicker bars, uh, Twinkies, like... Mountain Dew, you know the type of food that because you've been to a local game store. And then I made a critique. I was like, is this the reason Magic players are overweight? Right? And then I think that's a very valid critique. Well, surprising nobody, all the overweight Magic players are really mad. I think that, that this was back a long, it was like 10, 12, 15 years ago. This is back when we had a dislike button. You could tell exactly what percentage of Magic players at that time was overweight by the dislike button. Shout out to the big man Boogie2988. I think he made a video about my video and that, you know, it is what it is, right? You know what happens then. This is back when Boogie wasn't scamming people and faking his cancer diagnosis. He was just playing Magic the Gathering. <laughs>